Okay, we uh, brought the uh, plate that the uh, electric motor actually bolts to and we're getting ready to put in the, the pattern here. But I wanted to show you that I put three three quarter inch lugs in the little slot right here so that this corner of these two jaws here would clear this radius right here and it'll grab and turn this circle uh, real uniform. All right, here's a pit pit, here's a rollover and you can watch this line right here. See how uniform and even that is? So we're going to be putting in this pattern in the circumference of the radius of the cut. Check our fit here. No rattle. All right, good, good, good register. It's always a good idea when you got ears on here to spin your spin your piece around. Make sure that you're not going to hit anything because uh, it, well, it damages the part, but it really, if it doesn't hurt you, it scares the crap out of you. Just breaking it. That's all I'm doing. So there's not a burr in there. You give it uh, just a little bit above center on your inside boards. If you get real tight, it makes it a lot easier, a lot cleaner. Alright, ready to put the uh, four hole pattern in here. This is, this is the uh, typical weld seam that I like to put and I like to give it 100% uh, of weld penetration around this corner. Uh, this, um, this kind of welding does not distort or pull as much as two butt seams. To make sure that this plate is square and line, I use the angle, this is just a two and a half inch uh, angle iron stainless steel 3 16 wall and I go ahead and I either tap my plate up or down and I can create that square line. Now I want to see if this plate is square also and I can go off the butt end of it here and uh, check my gap there and I need to come up just a little bit a little bit here. We're there. We get up there here. That's good. All right. Just a quickie look. We're square on the foot still. So this prior weld here on the angle uh, is, is still square. We're not going to tack it there yet uh, because when we get ready to add the other side on there, we want we want the uh, option to uh, flex and, and maneuver that. And these tacks are are pretty flexible in adjusting. So now we're going to put three along here and then we'll be ready to start on the other side. Okay, we've, uh, we've clamped our angle along here, so we're holding both of these parallel and in line. And then when we grab those, then we took our center measurement here, and we cut this piece of wood here just to quickly slip it so we're, we're parallel this way. And then we added this clamp from top to bottom, which barely holding there because it doesn't take nothing. And we got the squareness of our box shape completely square. Now we're going to go ahead and throw uh, two quickie tacks on there. And we're ready to set it up on the table and plan out for the motor mount in.
Okay, we uh, set it up on uh, blocks like it would be on the stringers in the boat there. And this is the front face that holds and bolts the mo motor in here. And uh, we've got it set up uh, flush with the bottom. Uh, this is the one seam that we mill the bottom of this plate to be equal with the bottom of the stringer. So we left it there. We'll be doing this weld here, but we will do 100% uh, all the way around inside and outside. Um, uh, to make sure that this is secure. So we're square here and here and uh, We have a slight hollow right here, but this side here takes a hollow dip And we're almost we're dead nuts on this side right here So we're gonna say that this is set up and square now. We're gonna go ahead and do our two tacks uh, On this section here and then we're ready to roll and weld coupling nice <laughs> and there's an inboard <laughs> the first one I've ever uh, seen uh, electric power black soot in the corner there but at least uh, at least I didn't have a bad weld just a little coloration and I only uh, put the little bit of inside weld uh, just to strengthen the corners uh, this 100% weld penetration and bead along the entire outside is more than enough <laughs> 